Hi Fresno Unified students, welcome to week two. Like last week, I will be reviewing clef, key signature, and time signature. I will also be reviewing notes and rhythms. I'm going to use the same procedure as last week. I do, we do, you do. That means I'm going to demonstrate something. I'm going to give you a chance to practice. Then we're going to do it together. And then you're going to do it on your own. And we're going to do that for each exercise. Hi, beginning viola players. We're going to start week two's lessons with exercise one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is alto clef. What clef is this? Alto clef. One more time. What clef is this? Alto clef. Alto clef is the clef for violas. Now we're gonna move on to the key signature. Your key signature has two sharps. When your key signature has two sharps, that means all Fs and Cs are sharp. What notes are sharp? All Fs and Cs are sharp. So when your key signature has two sharps, which notes are sharp? All Fs and Cs are sharp. Now we're gonna to go to the time signature. We're in four, four time. The top four tells us there are four beats in a measure. What does the top four tell us? There are four beats in the measure. One more time, what does the top four tell us? There are four beats in the measure. The bottom four tells us the quarter note gets one beat. What does the bottom four tell us? The quarter note gets one beat. One more time, what does the bottom four tell us? The quarter note gets one beat. Before we get started on the rhythm, I'm gonna teach you two new concepts. The first one is dynamics. Everybody say dynamics. Okay, one more time, say dynamics. Dynamics tell you how loud or soft to play. What do dynamics tell you? How loud or soft to play. One more time, what do dynamics tell you? How loud or soft to play. MF stands for mezzo forte. Ladies and gentlemen, what does MF stand for? Mezzo forte. One more time, what does MF stand for? Mezzo forte. Mezzo forte means to play medium loud. What does mezzo forte mean to do? Play medium loud. One more time, what does mezzo forte mean to do? Play medium loud. So if this is forte, that's loud. And this is piano, that's off. Mezzo forte is about here. So, now we are going to learn about eighth notes. Everybody say eighth notes. One more time, say eighth notes. This is what eighth notes look like. Eighth notes are half a beat. What are eighth notes, everybody? Half a beat. One more time, what are eighth notes? Half a beat. Eighth notes go twice as fast as quarter notes. What do eighth notes do? They go twice as fast as quarter notes. How much faster are eighth notes than quarter notes? twice as fast. So, please listen and repeat what I do. T, 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 T. Your turn. Again, repeat after me. T, 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 T. Your turn. Now we're gonna add numbers to that. So please listen. One and two and three and four and. With me now, when I count to four, one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. Again, when I count to four, do it with me. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. You just clapped and counted eight eighth notes, ladies and gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please listen. One and two. Now try that on your own. All right, now listen. One and two. Now let's do it together when I count to four. One, two, three, four. One and two. One more time. One, two, three, four. One and two. Ladies and gentlemen, that is this rhythm here. This eighth note's on beat one. This note's on the end of one. And that's two, so one and two. That's what we just clapped and counted. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for the rhythms. Over here, we have a half note, two quarter notes, a quarter rest. Then we have a quarter note and a half note. Then we have two eighth notes, a quarter note, a quarter rest, a quarter note, another quarter note, another quarter note, and then a half note. I'm gonna clap and count that for you now. Please listen. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One and two. Four, one, two, three, four. Ladies and gentlemen, please practice on your own. All right, now let's try that together when I count to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one and two, four, one, two, three, four. And please try that on your own. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready for the notes. Over here, we have a half note F sharp, a quarter note G, 
a quarter note A, a quarter rest. Then a quarter note G, a half note B, an eighth note G, an eighth note F sharp, a quarter note E, then a rest, then a quarter note D, a quarter note C sharp, a quarter note D, and a half note D. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say the notes for this song within the rhythm. Please listen. F sharp, G, A, G, B, G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, D, D. Please practice on your own. Now let's try it together when I count to four. One, two, three, four. F sharp, G, A, G, B, G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, D, D. Okay, now we're going to move on to exercise two. But before we do, I just wanted to remind you, if you're having trouble with something or you need more review or you just want to practice more, you can always rewind. That's the great thing about YouTube. You can always rewind. Now we're going to move on to exercise two. Exercise two is at a piano. Mezzo forte meant to play medium loud. Piano means to play soft. Ladies and gentlemen, what does piano mean to do? Play soft. One more time. What does piano mean to do? Play soft. And piano is indicated with a P. So let's look at our key signature. We have two sharps. That tells us all Fs and Cs are sharp. We have our time signature. That tells us that's 4-4 four, four time. That tells us there are four beats in a measure, and the quarter note gets one beat. Let's look at the rhythm now. We have a half note, two quarter notes, a quarter rest, two eighth notes, a half note, another half note, a quarter rest, a quarter note, another quarter note, another quarter note, and then a half note. I'm now going to clap and count the rhythm for you, and I want you to listen. One, two, three, four. Two and three, four. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to do it one more time. Please listen. One, two, three, four. Two and three, four. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. Please practice on your own. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to count to four, and I want you to do it with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, and three, four. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please try that on your own. And, ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready for the notes. We have a half note A. A quarter note B, a quarter note A, then a quarter rest. Then we have an eighth note G, an eighth note F sharp, a half note E, another half note E, a quarter rest, a quarter note C sharp, a quarter note D, a quarter note E, and a half note D. I'm now going to say the notes within the rhythm of the song, and I want you to listen. A, B, A, G, F sharp, E, E. C sharp, D, E, D. Please try that on your own. All right, let's try it together now. When I count to four, one, two, three, four. A, B, A, G, F sharp, E, E, C sharp, D, E, D. Ladies and gentlemen, please try it on your own. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move down to exercise three. What clef is this? Alto clef. You have two sharps in your key signature. Which notes are sharp? All Fs and Cs are sharp. We're in 4-4 four, four time. What does the top four tell us? There are four beats in the measure. What does the bottom four tell us? The quarter note gets one beat. We are at the dynamic forte. Forte means to play loud. Ladies and gentlemen, what does forte mean to do? 
Play loud. One more time. What does forte mean to do? Play loud. So it's the opposite of piano. It's forte. It means to play loud. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go over the rhythm with you for their exercise three. We have four quarter notes, a quarter rest, two eighth notes, a half note, a quarter note, two eighth notes, a quarter note, a quarter rest, and a whole note. Whole notes are four beats. I'm now going to clap and count the rhythm for number three. Listen, please. One, two, three, four. Two and three, four. One, two and three. One, two, three, four. Ladies and gentlemen, please practice on your own. All right, when I count to four, let's try it together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two and three, four. One, two and three. One, two, three, four. And please try it on your own. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready for the notes. Over here, we have a quarter note A, a quarter note B, a quarter note C sharp, a quarter note D, then we have a quarter rest. Then we have two eighth note Bs, a half note A, a quarter note G, an eighth note E, an eighth note F sharp, a quarter note E, a quarter rest, and then a whole note D. I'm now gonna say the notes within the rhythm of the song and I want you to listen. A, B, C sharp, D, B, B, A, G, E, F sharp, E, D. Ladies and gentlemen, please practice on your own. And when I count to four, let's try it together. One, two, three, four. A, B, C sharp, D, B, B, A, G, E, F sharp, E, D. And please try that on your own. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now going to hear what all three exercises sound like on the viola. Hi, beginning violas. Welcome to week two. We're going to start off by checking one of our new notes that we have that we didn't have last week. Our key signature still says F sharp and C sharp. We are still in the key of D. We have low C sharp appearing in the fourth measure of exercise one and beyond. Uh, how to play that? It appears on your G string which is right up here. This is a violin, so you're seeing me when I'm playing, if I'm on the wrong fingers, it's because it's a violin, but I'm going to be playing your viola part. But I'm gonna model as if this were a viola. So on your G string, low C sharp would look like this. On your G string, it is a high three. You need one, two, not regular three. No, 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 high three. So one, two, high three. All of your low C sharps in this particular week's worth of exercises is going to have a high three on the G string. So make sure you keep those in mind. Also keep your dynamics in mind. We have a mezzo forte, a piano, and a forte to keep in mind. This is exercise one. exercise two. This is exercise three. 